you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make a great night, folks. Don't take anything personally. Transform your life. When you refuse to take things personally, you avoid many upsets in your life. Your feelings of anger, jealousy, and even sadness will simply disappear if you don't take them personally. It's a great card, folks, okay, but bottom line, it's a pretty tough one to handle. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials down 70, NASDAQ off 13, S&P's off 7.5, gold contract up $4.50, trading at 1760 an ounce. We got silver down 12 cents, $22.54 an ounce. Late sweet crude, flat, $80.59 a barrel. Notes and bonds. The 10 year up nine ticks, trading 131.04. The 30 year up uh, full point, plus three ticks at 158.18 in King Dollar. King Dollar is up 200 ticks, trading out at 94.516. Euro at 115. The yen's at 113.63. And the British pound is at 135 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877. 9276648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world and the world of the SPs? Let's take a look at it. This is going to get interesting, and this is what it is, folks. I'm going to bring up the futures first because I want to show you something here. The market has been building cars to basically get to lower price. Now, and that's, I'm talking about like all, all morning long here. It's pretty cool what, what is happening. And each and every time that we've come down to the lower part, of the consolidation that have been in intraday, the volume has contracted. That being said, what we haven't done yet is that we haven't tested the low that was established out here at 20 minutes to 10 this morning. So my take is that we're going to go after that low, and we'll see why this thing just falls apart. Uh, what we did have out here at the 10 past 2 uh, Eastern time, the bottom line, it tried to get up, it tried to get over the swing point, and guess what? It failed. Uh, so now the bottom line is that what we do have is this. The last, that we're a, a nine minute, we're 309. I use these 10 minute bars, so we've got one minute left on this. The last 10 minute bar that was, would, you know, 10 of uh, three to three, bottom line had volume. This one's a little less volume. Uh, that being said, it's going to close, it's going to, this bar will close right at the swing that's being that's established here at like 43.41. We're at 43.44. So we'll see how this baby shakes out. My take is that you're going to get more weakness coming into the close. Bottom line, this market wants lower price. And the X100. We take a look at the three Qs. We bring up the three Qs. We have with the three Qs out here right now. They're down 95 cents. They've been consolidating all day. You can see the same bar that when it went top side had some juice behind it, but it couldn't take out the swing point from this morning. Uh, the, on the way down, same type of setup. Each time we've come down to the bottom of this, meaning the bottom of 356.77, uh, doesn't have enough juice to basically blow it away. I think that'll change as we come into the close. We'll see how that baby shakes out. Gold. Gold contract out here caught a bid. Gold's in a confirmed ABC structure. In the, well, it's in a complex ABC structure on the way up. And what that means is that you check out the B point. The B point is 1770.71. 10. We took it out with volume. You gave it up on price. Now what has happened is that you're coming up to that again. I'm glad to hit it today because we did 161,000 contracts thus far. Actually, I think we did 150 at the B point. One second. Hold it. Wouldn't even. Yeah, it is. So the B point is actually, this is going to be pretty cool. So watch what's going on here, folks. We have a complex ABC structure on the way up inside the gold contract, okay? What happened on Friday, gold goes higher, gives it up on price, blows away the B point. We pulled back yesterday and we pulled back with 115,000 contracts. Today, you'll get more contracts than the B point, but yet you didn't take out the price. That's actually pretty cool because when you start pushing again on a B point or any, any type of swing point and you do get an expansion of volume, your probability is much higher that you're going to get it. So I suspect next couple of days, gold is going to continue to go to higher price. Silver, we look at the silver contract out here. Silver's down 10 cents. We're trading out of the price point of 22.56. This is rejected 22.32 this morning. Same setup. This is still this. Oh, look at this, man. I like it. So this is your B point had 35,000 contracts and we're at 41. Said the same thing. We're going higher, man. That's the bottom line. Notes and bonds. We take a look at the note and bond market, T-Y-Z. We take a look at the 10-year first. What we have with the 10-year, 10-year right now is up nine ticks. 
uh, this, we'll see uh, how this shakes out. I mean, I, I like what it did. It came into the swing point of the 16th of uh, June. Um, that's the bottom of the range here. You know, we got 1.5 million contracts. Not bad. We'll see whether this is just a counter trend bounce or, in fact, can it get something going. And good old King Dollar. We go over to King Dollar. Uh, King Dollar right now up 197 ticks. Uh, your last swing high is 94,503. We're over that right now. What this is going for, folks, this is going for the high, the swing high that was established out here going all the way back to September of 2020. And that number is 94,742. Uh, that's what it looks like it's going after. Some of the higher volume equities out here uh, today. You got uh, Ford's up 47 cents. You got uh, Ma Bell down 61. Apple's off 85. You got uh, Verizon down 92. Facebook's off 369. You have Plug Power up 213. Uh, Tesla's, Tesla's, Tesla's moving, man. Tesla's up 16 bucks. I suspect Te Tesla is about the only one I've seen thus far out here that really has any movement in it. Uh, inside the NDX 100, the strength versus the weakness. The weakness is uh, Micron Tech down 4%. You got Amgen down 2.9. Uh, DocuSign is off 2.7. And Texas Instruments is down 2.74. Uh, inside the Dow Industrials, the strength versus the weakness inside the Dow Industrials. Point-wise out here, we have, we have the uh, Salesforce are putting 43 positive points, Nike 19, uh, Goldman Sachs 12. Let's go to Nike. I want to see. Nike's been into this gap, and let's see what, how, what it's doing in this gap. So Nike's up 251. Yep, you got a contraction of volume coming up. Okay, so the, 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 this gap's going to get filled, man. Yeah. You get so you, you get down to 144. You're at 153 right now. You get contraction of volume in a big way. 153.66. Didn't hit that yet. Stay right there, folks. Come right back.